Washikadao wa mazingira kaunti ya Kilifi wakiwemo viongozi wa mamlaka ya maendeleo pwani CDA huduma ya misitu huduma ya wanyamapori pamoja na viongozi wa utawala wamewarai wa kulima kuhakikisha miti inakuzwa katika angalau asilimia kumi ya shamba zao katika hali ya percentage ile ambayo tunaizungumzia ni 30% by 2030 kufikia sasa Kilifi County tuko na takribani 23.8% ya tree cover. Hicho takribani 1300 leo ambayo itashughulikiwa katika upanzi na tunachowaomba na wito ambao tushautoa kwa wananchi ni kwamba waendelee waendeleze hili zoezi la kupanda miti. Usia huo uliwasilishwa katika mradi wa unyunyuzi maji unaoendeshwa na mamlaka maendeleo pwani CDA ambako washikadau hao na wakazi walishiriki kupanda miche elfu tatu ya miti. This is the activity we are trying to partner with the community and what we are doing is that the community as they do this activity with us they are learning and from there now they replicate, they replicate the same on their farms. Na nchi wetu wapande miti na sisi kama wafanyakazi wa serikali national administration machizi wetu na sister nchi wetu ndio wataspia head huu mradi huku mashinani. Tunaomba wananchi mkikutana nyumbani kila mtu apande mti katika shamba lake. Tukifika mwaka mpya yale mabinja mabinja tunapigaga tupige tukipanda miti kwa sababu miti ndio uhai na bila miti uhai umepotea Aidha Rais William Ruto katika kauli zake za hivi majuzi amedokeza umuhimu wa mabadiliko ya uchumi kupitia uimarishaji wa mazingira katika zoezi za kutunza hazina hiyo Planting trees has to be the project of the highest importance every day throughout the rainy season and for the rest of our lives to change the world today plant a tree then do it again and again and again there is no need to stop because there will never be a time in our life when trees do not make sense or matter Zoezi sawa na hilo lilifanyika kaunti ya Muranga ambako waziri wa maji Ali Swahome aliongoza upanzi wa miti kando ya bwawa la Ndakaini ambalo ufadhili wa kazi wa jiji kuu la Nairobi kwa maji. The government through Ministry of National Envir of, of Environment will provide the seedlings to be able to deal with the numbers of or trees that we want to plant mbali na kukarabati visima waziri wa home aliahidi kuhakikisha wakazi wa eneo hilo wanapokea huduma za maji huku akiwarai kupanda miti na kukuza miti hiyo ili kukabili changamoto zinazoandama za hali ya hewa we'll use and recruit we will recruit 100,000 youth who we are calling green army So we want to tell the youth that there is a opportunity to create employment to be part of the employment as we do a very noble duty of restoration of the ecosystem. There is need for us to be able to uh, to plant trees and not only plant trees on official functions but also plant trees in our homes in our private functions that we are holding so that we can be able to hit the target of of the of the 15 billion trees. As leaders we just came to show uh, what Kenyans need to do and what they need to do is simply to ensure that we are able to grow as many trees as possible you know by what we are going through a very hard time for the last three years we have not had enough rain tayari serikali imezindua kampeni ya kitaifa ya upanzi wa miti ikiwa ni kati ya juhudi za kukabili mabadiliko ya tabia nchi pamoja na nia endelevu ya kudhibiti hali ya ukame inayotatiza kaunti tofauti nchini we must mobilize community we must mobilize society and explain to them the reason why it is important for us to plant trees it is not for the gratification of anybody it is not because the president wants it because it is an existential imperative it is a necessity and it is not good for your neighbor it's good for yourself and your children and the future. Kiwango cha maeneo yenye misitu nchini ni asilimia 12.3 pekee huku serikali kiazimia kufikisha asilimia 30 ifikapo mwaka 2032 kupitia lengo lake la kupanda miti bilioni 15. Emmanuel Kutosi, Runinga Ebru.